Hey guys, it's Eric with LeatherSeats.com. In today's tech tip video, we're going to do a quick follow-up on our seat ventilation installation video. If you're watching this video, you've probably already seen the full step-by-step -step installation video that we produce for our universal automotive seat ventilation system. If you haven't seen that, I would highly recommend that you check out that video before watching the rest of this follow-up. You can find the link in the description below. As you can see, we're in the middle of installing our seat ventilation system in an 05 Toyota Tacoma double cab. Although much of the installation video remains the same as that Chevrolet Silverado that we did in the step-by-step -step video, there are some notable differences. One of which is that unlike the Silverado, we did not have to make any changes to the seat frame in order to mount the system hardware properly. We were also able to mount the blower and the TED directly to the seat frame springs on the bottom cushion as well, with no modifications. We then ran the vent tube from the TED up through the seat foam to the distribution pad and bench tested the system to make sure we were achieving good airflow. Even though everything was working properly after our bench test, we did run into a couple of problems during the installation of the upholstery. On the bottom cushion, we realized that the tail extension flap was actually going to completely cover the intake on the centrifugal blower. To solve this problem, we removed the blower, hog the tail extension into its proper position, and then remounted the blower over the tail extension using the original frame attachment locations. We also ran into a challenge with airflow on these Tacoma buckets with the backrest covers specifically. With the Silverado installation, both front buckets had hard shell panels mounted to the backs of the seats. After testing airflow before and after installation, we saw no issues with performance. However, with this Tacoma, the backrest cover is a closed back design, and after testing airflow on the unit with the cover installed, we found that the centrifugal blower was struggling to pull enough air to provide effective heating and cooling. In order to solve the airflow problems that we're seeing with these closed back covers, we've decided to repurpose the exhaust bezel that comes with every kit. Rather than mounting it to the exhaust tube at the bottom of the seat, we're actually going to mount it in the upholstery in line with the centrifugal blower in order to get optimal airflow. As you can see, the installation process on our full seat ventilation system really varies from vehicle to vehicle and even from seat to seat. If you're considering taking on this installation yourself, you really need to be the mechanically inclined do-it-yourselfer type that enjoys taking on projects that require creative problem solving. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you do have any questions, feel free to email us at sales at leatherseats.com or you can always call us toll-free at 866-NEW-SEAT. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.